everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Raina Jinx and I'm here with a makeup tutorial this is my look for Valentine's Day I hope you enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't done so already and let's get into it so we're gonna start off with shadow and I'm priming my lids with the Urban Decay shadow primer and we're gonna go right into the modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills taking love letter to the crease and just gonna blend that all the way out and a little bit up towards my brows as well then I'm going to the color pop yes please palette and we're gonna put spoiled right on the lid it's a really pretty brick red color we're gonna put Louie on the inner corner it's a metallic red with a gold flip which is perfect paired with spoiled now my skin has been a mess lately so I'm covering all of my dark spots with the NARS soft matte concealer this is the color Amand I like using this concealer it completely covers all of my dark spots and I don't have to use as much foundation just to make sure that you blend 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 because we don't need this showing through the foundation oh, oh, hey. you don't know a lot about your mental told me nah nigga you don't know what i just went through these niggas nowadays only care about my temple not that i have to reintroduce this foundation but you already know i'm using the venti beauty foundation in the color 420 perfect match it's a little bit red for me now because it's not summertime and this is my summer color but it's still perfect it's just on the red side but it will be corrected later with concealer now i'm taking my smashbox studio skin concealer to highlight all of my high points this is the color medium dark to contour i'm using the fenty beauty match sticks and this is the color espresso Now we're just blending out the highlight with my handy dandy beauty blender. And I'm going back to the NARS concealer just to conceal those smile lines because that's what always creases on me. And you know the deal, just blend, blend, blend. I really like this concealer, this Smashbox concealer um, lately. And I used to use NARS Creamy Radiant all the time, but I really, really love the color of this concealer. It's just a little bit more brighter in my opinion. This is something I've actually been doing new lately is blending out my contour with my foundation or the brush I used for my foundation. It just blends it out a little bit more seamlessly. Now, Laura Mercier and Sasha Buttercup. I take these two powders and mix them together. They're the perfect combination to highlight under my eyes because it calms down the brightness of the Sasha Buttercup, the Laura Mercier and um, it's still bright but not overly yellow and it's just so perfect i love it so lately this is what i use to set the highlight and to clean up that contour i'm just taking this morphe blender and just cutting that crease to make it a bit sharper before i forget i'm going back to my fancy beauty matchsticks to contour my nose i always forget this step so i'm just doing that now and I'm just taking this e.l.f. concealer brush, I think it's the concealer brush, um, to do that. And specifically for my nose contour, I like using the NYX Matte Bronzer to set my contour. It's the perfect shade, not too warm, just neutral. And to finish off the eyes, I went back to the color Spoiled to shade under the eye. Maybe it is, maybe it's and now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes. These are the Your Lash Bar lashes in the style Manhattan. Aren't they pretty? And I'm just taking my Better Than Sex mascara to blend my own lashes with the falsies. For blush, I'm using ColourPop's pressed powder. This is the shade Glass Slipper. And yes, I forgot to remove that excess powder, so I'm doing that now. <laughs> So on one of my online excursions on Sephora, I grabbed Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the color Golden Peach, which to me, it's not really Golden Peach. It comes off more like Stardust Pink. I don't know. It's still pretty regardless though. And I put that on all of the high points on my face, but I like it. 
I'm going back just to clean up the eyes, get that inner corner popping again. And now we're moving on to the lips and I'm lining my lips with this ColourPop pencil that I can't remember the name of but it's discontinued so it doesn't really matter anyway. And then I'm taking this ColourPop liquid satin lip in the color Dopey. It's a really pale pink but with my lips lined it works out really well. And to blend your liner into your lip color make sure you smack smack smack. And to top it off, we're going with the Fenty Beauty Cosmic Gloss. <laughs> Gloss. <laughs> this is the color spacesuit. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Make sure you click that like button if you did like this video. And make sure you comment down below what are your plans for Valentine's Day because I don't currently have any plans i don't think he has any plans not that i know of so we might have to talk about that but <laughs> um yeah comment down below what you're doing for valentine's day i would love to hear your um thoughts and yeah make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because girl i am coming out with all of these videos so you don't want to miss any uploads make sure you subscribe and yeah Click that last video if you missed it. Make sure you click that video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.